Hey there, and today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use Speezy by CC Cleaner. So, first, I want to make a disclaimer. Uh, this is not your usual Minecraft related tutorials. This is actually something that I must make for school. So, if you're looking for that, uh, come back in maybe in the next, in the fourth next video, which is going to probably be about Minecraft. But, anyways, let's start. First, we must head to cccleaner.com slash speezy and click download free version we're going to click free download I mean of course you can buy the actual program but I I'm not going to do that you will uh, in for example if you buy the actual program you will have automatic updates and premium support but we just need advanced PC insights uh, so we're going to click download um, if if you have Chrome, something, or, or if, if you have Chrome or Brave, uh, something here should pop up. If not, you can always go to your downloads folder and click on this. Uh, but anyways, uh, once we've, uh, wait, once we've clicked on this, uh, it will ask us if we want to, to give administration permissions in order to, to, to install it, we must give it administration, administrator permission. So we're going to click yes. And now we should start running. It's going to take some seconds, but <clears throat> um, anyways, uh, now we have it and we're going to click install. You can always customize your, your installation. One of the bad things about this program is that you cannot choose in which drive you want to install it. So you will have to just install it in the drive that Windows has. So we're going to click install and it will extract everything. And then we can just click run speedy. Uh, it will redirect in our browser to a website where we can buy speedy. But of course, we we don't we don't have to do that. So yeah, in this case, I don't want to buy speedy. So and speedy is basically a program that allows you to see advanced insights of your PC. Uh, it shows information from the operating system that you're running to the peripherals, such as the mouse and everything. And it does it with a lot, a lot of, um, of accuracy, right? And a lot of information. So you can see we have uh, software information like environment vi variables, uh, my Java version, PowerShell version, even Internet Explorer version, as well as antivirus and net frameworks and all Windows, uh, Windows things. We have hotfixes, uh, system folders or process lists, as even schedulers and uh, services, as you can see. And yeah, the the software the software part is quite complete, as you can see. But we also have hardware. Uh, it shows uh, stuff like our uh, CPU. In this case, I have a AMD Ryzen 6 uh, 2600. As you can see, it shows our temperature, even though for monitoring, I would uh, rather uh, use uh, another tool, like for example, HW Info. Uh, we can also check our RAM sticks. As you can see, I have two RAM sticks, each with eight gigabytes of RAM, as you can see over here. So that makes a total of 16 gigabytes of RAM. We can see memory usage and a lot of information, which is really nice. We also have uh, motherboard information like temperature, even uh, things related to the BIOS, uh, like the version, CPU voltage, and and yeah, uh, as well as in the graphics part, we have uh, monitors. As you can see, I have a dual monitor, and as well as uh, my graphics card, which is a GeForce R at uh, ray tracing thing with 2060. And you can see the temperature and basic stuff. Uh, and we also have storage that that allows you to see the drive that you have installed. In this case, I have a SSD and an HDD, uh, as you can see by Seagate and Crucial. As you can see, we can we can check their status. It is quite useful if you want to see if something's broken. And even partitions and what and what in which format are they? For example, my Windows partition C, it's in NTS NTFS, which is the usual for Win for Windows. But for Linux, I have five 
FAT32 and other partitions in general. We also have uh, optical drives. I have none, so I cannot show you anything. And audio devices, as you can see, have a few uh, audio devices. Even peripherals, which is basically like devices you're connected to. And as you can see, I'm connected to my printer, for example. We have the USB, mouses and uh, keyboards and other stuff, so such as actual software stuff like any desk printer even fax and, and stuff like that uh, but yeah that's not so interesting anyways but yeah it's useful information after all uh, we can even check it uh, on the ne network part uh, as you can see yeah i'm connected to our wi-fi and you can even see the current tcp connections that you're the, that have been established for example you can see i'm connected to any desk um, i'm also connected to things like discord my sqld and, uh, and and even team viewer uh, and we can even see the adapters as you can see i have uh, my vpn virtual box and the windows that bad uh, the windows adapter of course so yeah it's a really useful program that, uh, that gives you a lot of information definitely i recommend it a hundred percent if you need it of course remember to leave a like a like if you like the video or it helped you and to subscribe for more tutorials like this. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.